Bible says that you will be baptized, watch this, with the Holy Ghost. My, my, my prayer is that everybody in this building today get filled with the Holy Ghost. Come on, say amen. Not, not that funny, fuzzy Holy Ghost that makes goops, pimples come on your arms, but the Holy Ghost that would give you power to be bold enough to go anywhere and speak the words of God. I need some folk that's on fire for God, filled with the Holy Ghost. I ain't got no help here. I need some folk that got enough boldness to speak God's word. So in order for us to have, watch this, authentic fire, there must be the filling of the Holy Ghost. I said, in order for us to have the authentic fire, there must be a filling of the Holy Ghost. Now some of you, I know you're saved, but you're not filled. Come on, say amen. Because you got leaks in your body. Every, every now and then, God will fill you, but you get filled with sin, and sin makes the Holy Ghost leak out. But if I was you right now, i lift up my hands and say, God, fill me over again. I, I know I messed up last week. I know I messed up last night, but God, fill me till my cup run over. David said, my cup run of over and goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life glory to God I need somebody right there to say Holy Ghost fill me over again be seated the word baptize comes from the Greek word baptizo which means to immerse or it means to be filled watch this inside and outside come on y'all so first i want to talk about it's on the screen the purpose of baptism in the holy ghost i want to talk about that the purpose of baptism in the holy ghost acts 1 8 says it like this but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth and the people of God ought to say something right there glory to God you got to see this because that the purpose is here it is to receive power let me say that again to my slow church. The purpose of being baptized in the Holy Ghost is to receive power. I haven't seen so many unpowered people in church today. It, it blows my mind. We, we go to church, but there's no power. Come on, say amen. We're intellectual, but there's no power. There, there's no power to destroy any yokes and lift up burden. See, you, I, I, I'm not going to be satisfied till I walk in the same power that the early church apostles walked in. Uh, the Greek word for power is a word called dunamis, mm, from which the word comes, English word derived, called dynamo or dynamite. Glory to God. It's explosion power. Hallelujah. Dunamis power. It's explosion explosive power mm. how are you going to get this going to bless your life you, you, you can't go out in them streets playing around y'all come on you, you can't go in corporate America half stepping yeah you need explosive power yeah the type of power that destroys every chain yeah not break every chain but because if it breaks it can get fixed again but if it's destroyed I ain't got no help here the Bible says the anointing it destroys the yoke and lift up burdens I ain't got no help here I need doing this power I need power like dynamite um, you shall receive power. You shall receive dunamis. You shall, shall receive dynamite. Explosion after the Holy Ghost come upon you. I need somebody to get excited about power. Ah, God, the purpose now is to receive power. And also, the purpose is to make us witness. 
Uh, look at somebody tell them, make us witness, make us witness. Yeah, the purpose of the power is to make us witness. Y'all making me work too hard already. Now, 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 not to show off. Yeah, um, the, the power not to sing and dance and not to shout, but the power, glory to God, to witness. Uh, hallelujah, glory to God. Uh, now, the word witness now, it comes from the Greek word martyrs, from which we get our word martyr. Mm. You have to see this because. A martyr, watch this, is one who is not afraid to die for the cause of God. <laughs> you should receive power um, to be able to be willing to die for the cause of God. You, um, you see, when you are filled with the Holy Ghost, you ain't scared. Never got a witness here. In other words, the Holy Ghost gives you holy boldness. Uh, have I got a witness here? You remember Peter now. Peter denied the Lord three times. But that was before he had the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I ain't got no help here. He wasn't ready to die yet because he didn't have the power of the Holy Ghost. So Jesus now, when he died and came up from the grave, he met the boys. And he said, listen, I want to have a meeting. But go find Peter. I know Peter denied me, but I love Peter. Mm. Go get Peter. Mm, yeah. And he said, Peter, I know you denied me, but do you love me, Peter? And Peter said, Lord, I love you. He said, Peter, do, do you really love me? And he said, Jason, yes, Lord, you know I love you. And Jesus said, come on, Peter, do, do you really love me? He asked Peter three times. And Peter said, yes, you know I love you, Lord. And, and, and Jesus said, well, Peter, feed my sheep. Y'all not helping me here. But before you go now, Peter, I want you to go in the upper room in Jerusalem and wait for the promise. Uh, because you can't do it in your own strength. Because when you had your own strength, you left me for dead. But I want you to go to the upper room and wait for the Holy Ghost. Y'all not helping me here. And on the day of Pentecost, when they fully come, they were all in one accord. And suddenly, there was a sound from heaven like a mighty rushing wind that filled the house that they were sitting. The, the Holy Ghost would give you the ability to die. I got a question for you. Are you willing to die for Jesus right now? Are you just really cute in church and you like the promises of God and, and you like the blessings of God? Are you willing to die? Are you a soldier enough to say, listen, Lord, for you I live and for you I die. Come hell or high water, I'm going to stand strong. I'm going to be a soldier in the army of the Lord. Do I got any frontline soldiers right now? You ain't worried because you got your gird on. You got, uh, you, you got your, come on, y'all. You got your breastplate of righteousness on. You got your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. You got your helmet of salvation. And tell somebody, I ain't going to die like that. I'm going to fight. Come on, I ain't gonna lay down and die like that. I'm gonna fight. I said, I'm gonna fight. I ain't got no help here because you'll never say, Fight. You got to fight me and my said, Fight for your children. Fight for your family. Fight for your community. I need you to smack somebody by the head right now and tell them, Fight.